Hello guys, this is video number three in this week's series analyzing job descriptions and requirements from senior Laravel positions and what you need to learn to get those jobs potentially. I will remind you that I've analyzed 50 jobs from Laravel jobs Indeed and LinkedIn, grouped them into this admin panel generated with our quick admin panel. And in these videos, we're analyzing topic by topic. So there was a video about databases, about source control, and today we're talking about backend frameworks and technologies. So for example, the first two jobs already contain quite an interesting thing. So other language experience, Python, Golang, Scala. Scroll down another job description, familiarity with at least two server side programming languages, Ruby, PHP, Python, Java, or even frameworks mentioned are not that related. So Laravel, Ruby on Rails, Spring, and Yi. So does it mean that often job descriptions are just bunch of keywords without really knowing what technologies company work with? Let's take a look at more examples. And also in this video, in the second part of this video, we will discuss the APIs. Since we're talking about backend in this video, how many jobs require creating APIs or consuming APIs. So first, let's take a look at the numbers. For example, how many jobs require, for example, Symfony alongside Laravel. Search Symfony, and we have six mentions. And fun fact, if you put in Symfony with PH, you have two more jobs. Yes, probably job descriptions are written by HR people, not really by developers. So they don't know how that framework is actually spelled. So anyway, eight job descriptions with Symfony, although the job is for Laravel position. And in most cases of those jobs, I actually see a trend that the company is looking for really flexible person who would work with basically anything you would need. So like, for example, here, experience with frameworks Laravel, Zend, and Symfony. Each of those separately would require years to master, but the company requires all of them. Oh, and by the way, they also require CodeIgniter. Have you noticed? So job descriptions like this are almost like red flags that you wouldn't want to work in such company. So I'm not even sure how to interpret and how to translate those requirements. In some cases, though, it does make sense if the position is called PHP developer, and in this case, it's mid-level, and Symfony and Laravel. I've seen companies, quite a few of them, who work with both technologies, and since Laravel is partially using Symfony Frameworks functions, they are not that fundamentally different from each other, and it is possible for one developer to work with both. Of course, psychologically and philosophically, they work in a different way, so Laravel is more for rapid development, Symfony is more for stable long-term architectural development, but it is possible to be at least familiar with both of them. In terms of other frameworks and CMSs, in those 50 jobs, none of them were mentioned more than two times. So for example, Drupal is mentioned three times, but actually twice in the same job. So Drupal and Drupal. So only two jobs contain Drupal. From what I remember, one contained WordPress, and you already saw one mentions of Zend and Yi and CodeIgniter. So when looking for Laravel job, you probably should focus on Laravel and maybe Symfony would be a helpful experience, but not necessarily. In terms of other backend programming languages, for example, Python is mentioned in four jobs. It's not a lot, but you may have experience with that and that would be helpful. For example, even in our team, we have a developer, David, who is experienced with Python and he used that knowledge to write some script for this quick admin panel that you see on the screen. This is the result that generated admin panel. So some of the file generating processes are written in Python because that is a better language for that backend operations. So if as a Laravel developer, you also know Python and some of the tasks on your list may be done with Python in a better way, that would be a plus to your CV. Other programming languages are also mentioned in the list like Golang, like Scala, but only a few times, also nothing major. So majority of the jobs are focused on Laravel and PHP and everything else is just a plus. So there's kind of a myth or a thought that senior developers need to know like 20 programming languages, not necessarily. If you're good at what you do with one or two technologies, it's totally enough to become senior in those. And the final part of this video, I've been thinking to make a separate video on that or not, but it's related to the backend, it's APIs. So Laravel is a backend framework for backend language and creating APIs is one of most common jobs most common tasks. So in those jobs, how many involve creating or consuming API? Generally, if we search for API, 
it's 39 mentions but again some duplications so the real number is a bit less but still majority of the jobs are related to apis so you need to know how to create api with laravel and by the way i have a course about that it is with laravel 7 but like 95 percent of that information is still relevant and also i've calculated not by search but just manually looking through those that creating the api is mentioned in 24 jobs so in half of the jobs the position involves the tasks of creating the api your own api for someone to consume Consumer may be your own front-end application from your front-end team or maybe even yourself if you're full stack or it may be API public or security protected consumed by someone else, not from your company. And consuming the APIs or consuming third-party libraries or something like that is mentioned in 12 jobs out of 50. So twice as much the job involves creating the API versus consuming the API. And again, it makes perfect sense because Laravel itself and PHP is a backend language and API creation is part of a common task with it. Now, finally, what about REST APIs versus other APIs? If we search for REST, it is mentioned 27 times, but not all of them is about REST APIs because there's a general REST as a word. It could be another word like restore. So I've counted manually. It is actually mentioned in 15 job descriptions. They specifically mention REST. Alternatives could be GraphQL, for example. How many? GraphQL, four matches. So in four jobs, GraphQL is mentioned. And also some of the jobs mention SOAP. SOAP is mentioned in five jobs, even more than GraphQL. Although it seems like GraphQL is a trendy thing, new hot thing, and I also have a course about that, but it's not as widely adopted, at least in those jobs that I've covered here. So in majority of cases, REST APIs is the fundamental knowledge. Working with JSON, even that alone would take you quite far. So these are the numbers and my learnings and my conclusions about the backend in Laravel jobs. What do you think? anything I could add or search for, or you have any opinion, maybe I misinterpreted something, let's start the discussion in the comments below. Tomorrow, in the fourth video of the series, we will talk about front-end. So view React, Angular, and everything around that. Don't miss that video, subscribe to the channel, and see you guys in other videos.